Um, it was always going to be tough, I think, chasing down that total. Was, I think we were eight for two after three hours. It was always going to be tough, but you know, I thought we, I thought we fought back very well. I thought Morgs came in and, and played outstandingly well, and you know, gave ourselves half a chance towards the end. But you know, it was always going to be tough in that position. Uh, from a team perspective, um, I, mean, I haven't had much chance to kind of reflect on the match. But where do you think it was actually won? Or lost. I mean, do you, did you allow them to get too many runs, or was it simply the um, the first few overs of your innings? Um, at the halfway stage, you know, we were very confident. We spoke that, you know, we thought the wicket was a very good batting track, and we always felt that we were in the game. But you know, as I said, getting off to a start like that isn't ideal. And from then on, we were always chasing the game. How much of a learning experience are evenings like this for you personally? Yeah, they're a huge learning curve. Um, you know, it was, it was obviously. Obviously, wanted to go out there and try and do as, as well as I could for England. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't manage to see the team over a line, and but I felt I've learnt and grown as a player from it. Sorry. Um, uh, we felt that Morgs, Morgs' skills in the middle were, were more valuable to us, so we, we decided to push him down and save him for the middle overs. Um, not necessarily too early. We just think his, his skills in the middle are essential for us. Alex, what's it, um, Owen's been in lots of situations like that, of course. What's it like batting with him? Presumably, he just keeps giving you belief that you can you can do it. Yeah, he um, he kept me going out there. He was he was very cool. You know, he just said enjoy it. It's, um, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to try and see you know see England over the line in a tough situation. And you know, he was very good to bat with and very calm. I understand the reasoning um, about holding Owen back, but do you think maybe in the end, with hindsight, that has cost you the game? He had ten more balls. Might have been different. Um, well, hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? Um, you never really know, to be honest. Um, you know, I thought I thought Johnny. If Johnny could have got going, I felt that he can he can really be a game winner. But unfortunately, you know, it didn't quite happen for him today. But you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll all bounce back. You expecting quite so much? Been there about 15 overs on it, didn't they, including the last over? Um, maybe not quite that much. I think we knew that was going to be their game plan. Like, having um, rested Fidel Edwards, you know, we figured that we'd be seeing a lot of spin, but. You know, it, was, it was a good batting track, and you know we always we always felt at the halfway stage that we could have had a shout, but it didn't quite happen. Yeah, you, know, you said Morgan was cool, he's well known, but did he actually think, yeah, look, we're going to win this? When when he got going, um, I think he was going at a strike rate of over 200. You know, we always I always thought if you know if, if he really if he really clicks in the last few overs, we might actually have a chance. But you know they executed their plans well at the end, there, and we we couldn't quite get it over the line.